Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing? In this video, on this channel, I mean, we upload a beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece once a week. And I know we missed last, last Saturday. My, my dad was in town and went camping for uh, Father's Day, so we, we didn't actually upload a video, anything cinematic. But this video is uncut. And in today's uncut video, I've got a cool clutch I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to show you something that's happening outside because, well, we just, uh, I'm planning to use this light wand for showing the, the really cool clutch that hatched out, but we'll come, we'll come back to this. There's a lot of commotion outside. We, I woke up this morning to go leave and hit the gym, and I was already planning to ride my bike, so it wasn't too big a deal, but we had other plans to go places today. We're not going anywhere for a while, um, maybe at all today. And I'll show you why, right outside, right over here. Uh, it's loud, and here we go. Dude, that, that is a big, that's a big tree. Came down last night. I mean, look, at, look at the size of the trunk. This thing is massive. That's, that's a big tree. Came down about 2.30 a.m. last night and uh, it's laying right across our driveway. So we are going absolutely nowhere, at least not in the car. Luckily, I'm not too bad at maneuvering my bike around that, so I was able to hit the gym and get a good workout in, but yeah, stoked that the tree guys are here so quickly, and we will probably be able to make good with most of our plans for the rest of the day once they get that cleared up, but yeah, just very blessed and fortunate that nobody was under it, because my parents are here, as I mentioned, and they were actually sleeping. Oh, man, it really changes the look of the the space used to have no open sky right there it used to just be tree all right there no longer but yeah my parents were sleeping in this camper right here which i imagine they probably heard the crashing at about 2 30 but yeah that, that's a big old tree nobody hurt our little gate at the bottom of the driveway is a little compromised but no major damage so super blessed too not have any issues there other than not being able to drive away pretty minor inconvenience compared to what could happen when a tree of that size came down with somebody's head or any part of their body or any part of our house so yeah let's take a look at this clutch this is a clutch from Enchi Clown 100% Het Pied who I named suitor number one and he's with the princess Piebald 100% Het Clown and, oh, floated an egg on into the uh, water there, did we? Pretty cool. Got, I've got a really, really tiny snake in this clutch. Like, super small. Smallest snake we've ever hatched out here. Absolutely. Um, got some pretty good, decent odds, too. Oh, what's happening with this one? Trippy. Look at you. Wow, you're an interesting looking snake. So, look at this tiny, tiny little, little turd nugget. That is such a small, that is like a runt, a runty McRunter, runt, runt, runt. I mean, look at my finger. That snake is tiny. Look at the head next to my finger. That is a minuscule little tiny runty snake. Hopefully, should be okay because that looks like that's a looks like a guy and she clown pied there at least very much at least clown pied definitely clown pied for sure maybe and she um oh yes look at that dude and she clown pied one of my favorite combos ever to produce and so i'm always stoked on these pairings that is a beautiful beautiful and she clown pied right there 
looking absolutely phenomenal. I know I said I was going to use that light wand to try and get some good shots. And make, see, see what the light... Ah! <laughs> we'll drop it on the ground. Let's see. Let's see what this light wand does for the, for the shot. Light wand, turn on. Whoa, okay, too much. How do we turn you down, sucker? Let's still have you on, but turn you down. Can we do that? Turn you down. Oh, it gets super orange when you turn it down low. Look at that. Let's turn this to a total. Oh, I was changing. <laughs> I was changing the color temperature, not changing the brightness. All right. Get back up to 5,500 Kelvin. 5,500 Kelvin. Let's go. Come on. Almost there. 5,500. Super close. 5,500. There we go. There. Now let's turn you down, shall we? There we go. I don't think we needed this. Oh, I just turned it off. We we don't need we don't need that. Look at that. That's a good looking inchy clown pied right there. And then this one over here. Ooh, sorry about that. Let me just shove you out of the way just because you don't have any clown or pied in you. Whoa. A trippy head stamp though. Look at that. So this is gonna be an entry. Whoa! It's like minor, minor, minor paradox action happening. This is going to be an Enchi double head clown pie. But look at that head stamp. It's, that's a. That's not your. Oh my gosh! If we could focus. That's not your average um, head stamp there, and it's also not in focus. There we go. That's not your average head stamp for an Enchi. A double head pie did something weird or something. Yeah, it's trippy. That's trippy. Um, and then this right here is an Enchi clown pied. You can tell by the, the head stamp. That's definitely an Enchi clown head stamp. But for whatever reason, super high white, which is not standard when you put Enchi into pied, you know. Um, this one that's about to escape. <laughs> this one right here is more standard, like, for the Enchi in in the snake because you can see all the pattern that came back but it's really cool we got one that was so high white i mean it can happen and then this one over here that's like trying to make its way out looks like it's some kind of half looks like it's still got some yolk to absorb so get back in there dude what are you doing why are you trying to get out of here get back in get back in. you got some more yolk to absorb you go back in there and yeah pretty cool cut and unleash it anytime you Paired a uh, het to het with the, you know, het clown going to the het pied um, to hit clown pieds at all is fantastic. And to have gotten so many, it looks like we got probably four clown pieds and then entry clown pieds. And that's pretty awesome odds right there, dude. We got, we're not having a heavy season over here. We're not hatching a bunch of snakes this season. Uh, I think we have like a total of five or six clutches that we're going to be having hatch out over here, which is, which is cool. I don't want to overproduce in the way the market was currently. We've got a couple more clutches waiting to hatch out yet, though. This one right here with this girl. Eggs are looking superbly healthy still. Those should be hatching out soon. We'll have some. Should be a pretty cool clutch. And then finally, since last season we didn't produce any sunsets, we've got a clutch right here. Mom and eggs. And we'll have some sunsets popping out of that. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's also head to head pairing. So. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, that's it. That's around here. Trees falling out of uh, the ground and snakes falling out of eggs. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's our current Cusco situation. I uh, hope whatever you guys are doing that you're having a good time and a great day and a wonderful uh, experience. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.